All right, guys. So today's Sunday. I'm watching some football. Bang! Watching the Philly Redskins game since it's a pretty good game going on. See if Washington can pull it off. But it is Sunday. Um, about a week out from my show, and tomorrow's my high carb day. So I wanted to show you how I'm breaking down my macros. So I have about 173 grams of protein tomorrow, 48 grams of fat, and 386 grams of carbs. My fat is probably going to be a little higher by the end of the day. This is just everything that I've budgeted so far. So, that being said, let me change the angle on this camera. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, I'm going to be filming throughout the week to kind of show you what I'm doing. You look how drawn my face is. I've been sleeping in the past two days. I still look like I haven't slept. But, um, yeah, that's about it for in terms of my macros. I'm going to get to have a nice high-carb day. Can't wait to have actually like two cups of oats. Um, I basically took a sweet potato and mashed it up so it's nice and soft and put a bunch of um, you know, uh, cinnamon into it and I'll mix some stevia so it tastes just like a dessert. I got my Uncle Ben's brown rice packet that I'm going to nuke and I also budget in, since you know I believe in flexible dieting, a Three Musketeers bar because it's the lowest fat, you know, pretty much candy bar that I like anyway and uh, that way I get to have a little bit of sugar in my diet. Oh yeah. And then I got to figure out probably where I'm going to get about another 20 grams of carbs to finish out the day. So, hope you enjoy this last vlog leading into my competition. And, uh, talk to you guys later. Okay, guys, it's, uh, Tuesday night. I'm just getting back to work. Uh, I basically skipped a day, which was Monday. Got home late. By the time I even got in the door, it was so dark I couldn't film anything in the car anyway. And uh, I don't have like a proper setup for where I'm currently staying to film footage. So, go over Monday, I had 405 grams of carbs, about 170 grams of protein. My fat was pretty low, I think it was around 50. Uh, it was my high carb refeed day. If you're interested in knowing what I ate, I suggest you follow on Instagram. I pretty much broed out the first 75% to 80% of my macros. I had a huge serving of oats, I had about two cups of that. Um, with some peanut butter and cinnamon. Then I had uh, about 16 ounces of sweet potato and I also had a package of my Uncle Ben's brown rice. Uh, to kind of tie out the day, I had um, a Three Musketeers candy bar and I also had some chips just to make myself feel human. I woke up this morning, uh, I still stayed at 172 and a half. I basically absorbed all those carbs and didn't gain any weight. But I did wake up with one hell of an appetite. It must have kicked my thyroid into gear. And um, after sending uh, my coach pictures this morning as to what I look like, we were going to do a low carb day at about 125 grams to even out the high carb day, but he upped my carbs to about 180 grams um, because obviously my body could take more and I didn't spill over and we want a nice full look for stage. So that's what I'm doing with my food so far. In terms of how I feel, I'm still very tired. Um, just commuting every day and doing all this is taking a lot out of me. You know, I'm excited to get to stage, but at the same time, you know, I kind of want to start getting back to uh, reverse dieting and getting in a nice lean bulk. Uh, I'm looking very much forward to that. Uh, in terms of training, on Monday I did a uh, like a somewhat of a leg day at about 80% with cardio. Today I did a uh, a chest day and ab day with some cardio. Only thing is, on Monday, both of my shoulders pop like knuckles. I guess just from all the wear and tear, um, they probably pop at least once a day. If I, you know, if I stretch or bring my arms over my head, it's never anything painful. But on Monday, I went to stretch. My shoulder made the same normal pop that it makes, you know, every so often, and um, my right shoulder was hurting really bad for a little while. I thought something was wrong. But thankfully, um, you know, today while I was doing my shoulder workout, I used these two hammer strength um, machines, which are actually very comfortable in terms of range of motion and the position they put me in for flat bench and incline bench. Uh, my shoulder feels fine, so hopefully it'll hold up for the rest of the week. That's all I need is to have inflammation, not be able to use my arm. Um, won't be the first time I've had a shoulder issue, but thankfully it's feeling okay. All right, guys. So sorry for the uh, kind of the skip in the timeline there. I'm doing the best I can do to film everything. Once again, since I am in the city, it's damn near impossible for me to film a workout as I have no tripod, and even if I did, they don't want me recording anyway. 
I don't know what it is. Everybody takes pictures of themselves every 10 seconds all over the place, but no filming in a gym. Oh, you know, as if we're all walking around naked or something. I don't get it. But anyway, guys, I'm going to keep filming throughout the week. I'll talk to you later. All right, guys, so it is Friday before the show. I know. This has been one of the worst weekly updates into the show compared to the last time, but I have been getting home so late from work. By the time I get home, it is literally dark out, and I have no ability to shoot footage. And um, you wouldn't, and even if you could, all you'd be doing is hearing my voice. I'd be like, Batman in the car, because uh, it's just dark. So anyway, quick little update. Um, so basically... Where did I leave off? Um, I had my high carb day Monday. Tuesday, I was around like 180 grams of carbs. Yesterday, I had, uh, Wednesday, I had 170. Yesterday, I was supposed to have 210, but cut to 170 because I was getting, it, it was hard to get a read on my body. My legs were looking like I a little fuller than I wanted them to. Um, wasn't really sure what was going on. I was I was afraid to go, you know, spill over, so we cut them short. I've been around 173 pounds all week. Um, I took today off from work, so I got up this morning. I figured I'd probably be about 173, 172 and a half. Uh, I'm actually down to 171 pounds. So this is the lightest I have ever been during prep, and all that fear of spilling over is not to worry about. Um, I burned off like all the carbs. I'm literally like flat this morning. It literally just has to do that I'm constantly in a sleep deficit. I've been trying to force myself to go to bed earlier every night, but um, you know, I, just the commuting. This is what's doing to my body. My body's getting hard to read. I actually literally just got off the phone with my coach. And he said, he goes, I have a general understanding of what your body does, but it's the hardest to ever to read just because of you're constantly in a sleep, in sleep deprivation. Um, and I should realize that because yesterday was on, I was on the way home from work and I, w I didn't even feel tired. I was staring out the window, just enjoying the scenery and I fell asleep. <laughs> and all of a sudden I woke back up as I was almost at my stop to get off going, holy crap, I fell asleep. I didn't even realize I dozed off. Um, not that I could have missed my stop because I'm the last stop anyway, um, but it's weird. Uh, it's fun. By the way, let me know how you like the new camera. This is literally me filming off of my S5. Um, from what I see right now, the graphics look pretty cool and good. I hope it's going to translate over to, um, you know, the, the computer. I don't know if you guys know, but I actually had an S3 that I was used, utilizing, and they said they were only going to give $52 worth of credit for the phone. You know, like how the iPhones are giving you a free iPhone if you trade your old iPhone in as long as it's in good shape. But the guy gave me $152 in-store credit to trade in the phone, so I only ended up paying like 50 bucks for this phone. Awesome deal. If you didn't know about that, you may want to try it. Maybe you can get a, an S5 if you're a, a Galaxy person instead of a, an iPhone person. Anyway, so... It's day before the show. I got a ton of shit I got to get done as usual. Uh, I'm going to get a workout right in, uh, a workout circuit in right now, all upper body. Um, we are going to, you know, I'm going to have about 170 to 190 grams of carbs today, maybe more depending on what we're seeing. Uh, I'm basically going to be sending every so many hours an update picture to my coach to see what he wants to do. I'm actually going to have my wife, I think, film part of this workout, or so I hope. So you can see some of it. It's nothing special. I'm not going to be going crazy or lifting anything heavy. Just pumping blood into my upper body just to uh, get some exercise in. No cardio. Then I have to go over to Pure Focus later today to check in. I'm going to have my wife apply two coats of tan tonight. So that way... Uh, it'll be set in for tomorrow, and then I only may have to do one more coat after that. I'm going to pack all my food. Um, what else? I don't know. May I watch Pumping Iron again for motivation? Um, I really like that movie. And uh, that's really about it, guys. So, about 24 hours out. And um, once again, I, I made it. <laughs> These past four weeks have not been easy, but I made it. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon.
on everybody just finished my workout how am i looking clean just got my haircut done workouts done got my pre-workout for the day the anabolic drink of men some black hazelnut wawa coffee yeah that's how the real guys do it i don't use any of stupid pre-workout shit <laughs> i know i'm constantly bashing pre-workout i don't know maybe it's just me but I personally don't care about that stuff. Um, thankfully, my wife stuck around at the gym to help me record. And uh, that's really about it. Heading home now. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start packaging my meals and stuff. So I'm going to get that all on camera so you guys can see. I'm going to enjoy my first meal today. I'm going to have my MTS Whey cookies and cream shake. Give me some 50 grams of protein. And I'm going to have about a half a cup of oats with some peanut butter. And uh, start seeing how my body responds to the carbs. All right, guys. Talk to you later. So, what's going on, everybody? Um, it's about 4:15 in the afternoon. So, had my workout this morning. Packed my meals already. I Maybe mean, I'll show you that later. Oh, damn, it's right here. It's like whiting out in the sun. <laughs> anyway, uh, just stopped by Pure Focus. Checked in. Got my lucky number 34, which is almost what my age is at this point. So I will be number 34. We're now up to five pros, by the way. Mm. Another guy signed up. So it should be interesting. Hopefully I don't come in dead last. But it is my first time competing as a pro, so we'll see. Uh, now, just heading back. Uh, I was supposed to have about 180 to 190 grams of carbs today. After John seeing some pictures, we're gonna cut it to 150. Um, my body's just all over the place. It's very hard to read and figure out what the hell it's doing with carbs and water retention. So, only going to go to 150, and then we're going to try to carb up tomorrow and see what happens. Push this down so I can actually see. Anyway, um, so now heading home. Going to have another meal in me. Probably my final meal of the day. Then the wife is going to help get in my crevices and start tanning me up. Forgot about that, actually. Great. <laughs> As you can tell by the sound of her voice, how thrilled she is. Uh, I'm going to try to get two coats of tan on tonight, so that way tomorrow it's relatively simple. I'm going to use a new product uh, called Dark As, which is a water-based like tanning stain, which I've used before. It's actually pretty clean and neat and easy to use versus the Dream Tan. And then tomorrow, once I get to show, we'll put like a layer of Dream Tan over it. I think that's going to be the perfect combination for a good tan to highlight the striations and whatnot. Um, I want to thank everybody because I'm, I'm getting so many messages right now on my Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and text messages and everything. I appreciate all the support, all you guys following. I hope some of you are going to actually show up tomorrow. I know some of you said you're going to come out. We shall see. Um, if you do, awesome. If not, I understand. You know, everybody's got a life. Um, that's really about it for now. I did get a question, however. Somebody's saying, how do you, you know, basically get involved in these shows? It's really not that hard. Um, you can go to a place like naturalbodybuildingevents.com and uh, look up the events by state and find out what organizations are having what shows where. Uh, and then it's just up to you whether you think you're ready to compete or not. Um, my suggestion is always find a coach, a good coach, not just any coach, that'll get you ready for um, that date. Always make sure to give yourself enough time to diet down. Um, and obviously... Everybody's been asking me, so I'll just address it in this vlog. The whole, um, there's still the, the advice coming about out about what's optimal, the clean eating versus the IIFYM. At this point, I've already stated where I stand. I believe IIFYM works um, if it's used appropriately. So, for instance, you know, if I have 20 or 30 grams of carbs left over at the end of the day and I decide to fit in some chips, am I boring you? No. Oh, okay. She's yawning on camera. Tired. Thanks. Um, if, uh, you know, if I have 20 or 30 grams left over and I want to put a little something fun into the diet, then I do it. I just don't abuse it, nor do I make sugar and junk food and processed foods the entire staple of, you know, my carbohydrates or my macros for the day. Um, I get tired of hearing these bros say what's optimal and what's not. The only way to ever prove that would be to take two people with similar genetics, work them out the same exact way and use both approaches and see if one ends up basically becoming better than the other um, I don't agree with this whole statement of optimal I think that's just a matter of opinion I don't think there's any scientific proof based on any of it 
Uh, and I know a lot of the bros were saying, oh, well, you know, for people who have trigger foods and this and that, it's better off if they eat clean. Well, here's my opinion on it. If you have trigger foods, my suggestion is you have a whole bunch of other issues you need to deal with before you ever get to competing. Um, if food is an issue with you or a type of food is an issue with you, um, it's always going to be an issue and that's a deeper psychological thing that you need to get taken care of. Um, if you think by removing, let's say cookies is a trigger food for you and you think by taking cookies completely out of your diet that's going to make you crave it less, you're absolutely wrong. If you have a craving issue or a food issue that you obsess over certain types of foods and you remove them, it's only going to make you crave them even more. Um, that's just my personal experience. So if I was a chocoholic and I say I'm never going to have chocolate again because it's ruining my life or my diet and I take it out, then the first thing I'm going to want is chocolate. And the first time I get access to it, I'm most likely going to binge on it and I'm going to lie about it while I'm at it. So that's just my personal opinion. Uh, I'm just getting sick and tired of hearing optimal or what's better. Um, I think they both work if structured properly and done the right way. I don't think by eating bro you're going to cure any um, food issues that you have. In fact, I think it's only going to make it worse. Alright guys, so on the way home, going to go eat, going to go get tan, and uh, may I let you see what I look like after. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Bye.